G'day guys, so this video will focus on what is tRNA. Proteins within our body are made up of a small chain of building blocks called amino acids. Here I've drawn four randomly selected amino acids, arginine, histine, serine and tyrosine. Down the bottom, we have another type of RNA called mRNA or messenger RNA and it is responsible for providing the template for these amino acids. Every three nucleotides on the mRNA strand code for a different amino acid and this trinucleotide sequence is known as a codon. This clover leaf like structure is known as a tRNA or transfer RNA. What tRNA does is serve as an adapter between the mRNA and the amino acids, hence the name transfer RNA. Every three bases on the mRNA is known as a codon, and what the tRNA does is it matches these codons with their corresponding amino acid. By doing this multiple times with the aid of a ribosome, a protein is translated. tRNA molecules exhibit two levels of specificity that are needed in order to accurately match the codon to the correct amino acid. The first specificity is the amino acyl tRNA synthetase. Elements in what is known as the acceptor stem make sure the right amino acid is to be added. There are many different types of tRNA. Each one only has one kind of amino acid that can be added. The second point of specificity is the codon specificity. The unique anticodon of the tRNA ensures that the correct three nucleotide sequence is paired. These two specificities combined allow for the correct amino acid to be matched with the correct codon. So now we're just going to take a closer look at the codon and anticodon interaction. We can see that the anticodon is reading the mRNA. So this interaction takes place via hydrogen bonding between the bases. Thank you for watching. To learn more about how this process leads to the creation of whole proteins, I recommend you do some further reading on the process of translation.